Republicans hold the House even though Americans voted for more Democrats. When Republicans won the majority of state houses in 2010, it ensured they'd be redrawing the maps in those states. And lo and behold, it paid off in 2012. Republicans drew congressional maps that look like inkblot tests. In many states, governors have veto power over the redistricting lines drawn by legislators. Brazen political redistricting has helped the GOP keep control of the House, regardless of what voters might prefer. They were able to do that in large part because of a highly effective Republican plan set in motion years earlier. But in states with Democratic governors, we stopped the Republican power grab. Now Democratic governors are restoring voting rights and protecting our right to vote. Oregon is first to push to get more people to vote, not fewer. Governor John Hickenlooper signed the Colorado Voter Access and Modernized Elections Act. Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe made history today. Connecticut approved election day registration. So with congressional redistricting coming up again after 2020, it's simple. If you want more Democrats in Congress and a stronger Democratic Party, then elect more Democratic governors and help unrig the map.